I'm way out west on the Andalo station, a thousand clicks inland from Brisbane. And I'm investigating a crime that could be putting stolen meat on your table. And this cocky, Scott Harris, is the victim. Well, they were taken out of two, two paddocks. One is up here in front of us. Yeah, 400 went out of here. So 400 out of the 860 yeah. were stolen? OK. Out of here, and then it was 460 went to another sorghum paddock over off South Hampton. And still a little mystery how, how they actually got them out of there. If 100 went, it would be a big deal. This is more than a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Scott Harris is Queensland's largest pastoral leaseholder. His properties sprawl across an area larger than Greater Melbourne. But losing 860 head of cattle, worth close to a million dollars, is a huge kick in the guts. What makes this crime hurt even more is the crook struck while Scott was far away, marrying the woman of his dreams and his cattle were ready to go to market on his return. We'd stockpiled them up, had them all ready to go, knew exactly what we had. We left here on the 22nd of April, to go back for a wedding in Cairns, and then we came back here on the 21st of May to, to truck out on the 25th. And um, yeah, it wasn't until then we started to go through it, find out, hang on, there's just something not right here. These numbers aren't coming up where they're meant to be. What was the total worth of the cattle that were stolen? A thousand and twenty or thirty dollars. Ahead, so there's 860, so we're sort of in 860,000. A lot of money. A lot of money. It's, it's really an unwanted wedding present. Yeah, probably one of the most expensive wedding presents in history, I reckon. <laughs> they, they were cattle that were ready to be slaughtered, and I'd say they got slaughtered fairly smartly. What sort of effect does this have on your livelihood? Trust me, it was. It's hard. It puts. A, it puts a dent. This. Like our industry, it's it's massive dollars and everything. Wow, that's nearly a million dollars. But what they don't, people don't realise, there's massive costs. If you take one away from another, it's just a living. What's worse, Scott is no stranger to being a victim of crime. This is not the first time I've had cattle stolen. This was just the biggest lot of that stolen. This time it was just, they were too greedy. Out bush, everyone knows everyone else's business. In this case, the cattle thieves probably knew Scott was away for a month. If I hadn't have been planning on sending those cattle for three or four months, there's a bloody good chance they would have got away with it even with me. But the fact that they took 860, I did pick it up. The local cops are on the case, and they're an unlikely looking mob. They're from the Charleville Stock Squad. They wear Akubras and ride bikes and horses. They're as sharp as a tack. Running the investigation is Detective Sergeant Warren Baker. I've heard the expression cattle duffing. What's, what's cattle duffing actually mean? No, oh, well, cattle duffing is just one of those terms that have been used for cattle thieves. They're, they're just thieves, common thieves that are stealing property. And it's happening on nearly a daily basis, um, unfortunately. I'm on patrol with Warren as we head towards the scene of the crime, the loading yard at Scott Yandalo property. So you got the best office in the world, mate? Yeah, plenty of dust, plenty of flies. Warren's no slouch. Last year, he put away a major cattle thief from Cunnamulla. Now, mate, this is where the 860 cattle that were stolen were brought to this area. There's around about 405 went missing out of this paddock. Um, you know, it's quite a simple process to run these bullocks from this paddock and here. There's laneways all set up so as the cattle can then just filter up into the cattle yards here and can quite quickly actually be loaded onto trucks from, from this loading facility here. It's unknown whether it's the same truck that's come here loaded and gone and come back or whether it's um, multiple trucks that have turned up. This couldn't be an operation by one or two people. Mustering 860 cattle, loading them onto trucks, then carting them to market or an abattoir is no small undertaking. Anyone that has pulled this sort of a job off has got to be extremely organised to be able to lift those cattle um, from the property. 
and get them to a market so the actual thieves can then prosper from the crime. These white electronic ear tags have overtaken brands as the main form of IDing cattle. They're part of the National Livestock Identification System. To underline the size of the heist, the thieves had to remove each and every one of the 860 tags before the cattle could be sold. So that, that device has got to be removed and, and a new device put in, otherwise we could continue that traceability of those particular cattle. This is modern bush policing at its best. Relaxing around a campfire, but still keeping an eye on Scott's remaining cattle. So that's Scotty Harris's brand in here, mate. It'll tell us how many cattle that are on his place. It'll tell us um, how many cattle he's moved off the place. That's a snapshot of his... Snapshot of where he's up to on his property uh, with his electronic tags. OK. Yeah. So where have Scott's 860 cattle gone? And who took them? There's no record of them arriving at any abattoir or market, but you'd think someone must know in a small community. Sometimes the thieves are very close to home. Generally, the uh, complainant knows who's committed the offence. Certainly at the start of this particular job, um, there was a, a, a good flow of information, which, um, which was sort of certainly helpful for our investigation to start with, but um, we've just stalled a little at the moment. People generally stick together in the bush, which makes this crime all the more painful. Rural communities are generally a very tight-knit community, and to break down the fabric of that community by stealing off someone else um, doesn't sit very well with them. At the end of the day, it's just theft. This is no different as if I come to your home in a capital city and walk in there and steal your TV, your stereo. It's the same deal, it's just theft. Catching the crims in this case is just a matter of time. The stock squad is committed to nabbing those responsible. We won't rest until we solve this case. Um, you know, I've, I've given the assurance to Scott Harris that we'll keep working on this until that information comes forward. And um, it is only a phone call away from being broken wide open. Scott Harris is one very determined cocky. Like I've put up a $100,000 reward for anyone with him, you know, that can come forward with information um, that'll lead to a conviction. Because I want to see these people bloody convicted, because they are going to come back. If they don't come back here, they'll come back somewhere else.